That's what you mean by casual conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Take up Joel Bainan's book next. Uh, it's called Workers and Thieves, Labor Movements and Popular Uprisings in Tunisia and Egypt uh, by Joel Bainan, who is the Donald J. McLaughlin Professor of History at Stanford University. Um, and uh, again, this is a, a, a comparable book to uh, Nader Fergani's uh, text, which we just covered, and Per Ziad's, uh, uh, per Ziad's sort of observation. Um, and Bainan basically discusses how the Arab uprisings of 2011 uh, were a big part. A big part of the uprisings were basically workers' participation. And uh, the summary on the back says that the Arab uprisings of 2011 were the outcome of many determinants and historical factors. However, workers' participation in the social ferment preceding the ouster of Egyptian and Tunisian autocrats and in the political realignments after their demise was far more important than most observers have acknowledged. In Workers and Thieves, in this book, Joel Bainan surveys the efforts and impacts of the workers' movements in Egypt and Tunisia since the 1970s. So he really historicizes uh, the Arab uprisings in ways uh, that not a lot of people uh, uh, can do. Um, and Bainan argues that the 2011 uprisings, and most importantly the differing outcomes of these uprisings in Tunisia and Egypt in the years since then, are best understood within the context of the repeated mobilization of workers and the unemployed over recent decades. Um, and do you want to take, let us know who's printing the book? We actually uh, reviewed this book in, in Newton, in Newton who, yeah. uh, that is edited actually by Nadia Onjadalia and uh, it's, uh, published by uh, Stanford Press under the series Stanford Briefs uh, in uh, 2016 and has the al tashghil istihqaq ya isabat al-saraq and al-aish wal hurriya wal adala ijtimaiya as basically uh, some of the uh, uh, quotes notes prior to the tables of table of contents the table of contents uh, includes four chapters of course after the introduction first colonial capitalism and developmentalism Second, I don't know why I looked at you guys when I said colonial capitalism. Because they're colonial capitalists, very obviously. Uh, the Washington Consensus. Did you just freeze there? I just looked at you after the <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Um, insurgent Great. workers in the autumn of autocracy. And then finally, popular uprisings in 2011. Uh, it is reviewed by Gilbert Ash'ar, author of the People Want a Radical Exploration of the Arab Uprising, which we don't have here, but we have Morbid Symptoms, his other book. Mm -hmm. uh, and second by Sharif Abdul Quddus, um, who is uh, from Democracy Now! and in the Nation Institute. It is also uh, a, uh, a book uh, that was discussed in our um, political economy project as one of the books that uh, competed for the uh, 2017 prize, I think. And it comes from our colleague and comrade Joel Bainan, who uh, is a major force in our public economy project. Guys, any comments? Well, I, I mean, I think that, uh, you know, as, as Nadia kind of mentioned, this, this book really seems to make tremendous use of um, Joel's kind of wealth of knowledge on uh, the question of labor in, in the Middle East and specifically in Egypt, where he's been doing field work for something like four decades. So I think in a lot of ways, as, as we look at a, a set of topics today of, of text dealing with the Arab uprisings, as we all know, there's so many that, that came up with sort of, uh, you know, quick reactions and responses that lacked a lot of depth. And I think that we can expect, given Joel's uh, expertise, that, that he brings a lot more depth of knowledge on this subject in a way that we didn't see, especially from some of the, the initial texts that uh, were published sort of right in, in the wake of, of all of these events that we're seeing. You know, I'll also say that he's one of the few historians to actually write about the uprisings in, in sort of a longer view. Ziad? 
Well, I, I mean, I have very little to add uh, other than to say that uh, uh, I think it's great that uh, he came out with something given his extensive uh, uh, knowledge of uh, class politics and, and class formation and class mobilization in, in Egypt and elsewhere. Um, I also, uh, can we say that we actually assigned this book in my class this spring? I mean, we didn't, I, I did. I don't think any of you knew that. But I assigned it because it was uh, uh, rather short as part of the Stanford brief. Did yeah. you say you don't think any of us knew that? Yeah. Because I said we assigned it. And so then I wanted the audience to understand that what I meant is I and that you all as the rest of the hosts didn't know that. <laughs> what? Was that wrong? No, but... Is that a royal we? Well, am I, are we? Were we supposed to know that and we don't? <laughs> yeah. That's the way that it came off. Khalas, sorry, I just wanted to make... Look, I, you know... Um, How did it go in your class, Ziad? You know, first, Abdullah says my previous comment on the first book was too substantive. And now, Bassam is saying that I said things like I shouldn't have. Um, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to say anymore. You know, I think this is the right time to cut out to uh, the author's childhood and sort of a video like, uh, you know, The Voice. They go back to somebody's childhood yeah. and how they developed and then where they are right now. <laughs> Except that we would need a few million dollars to get this done for every author. You think Joel would send us uh, baby pictures? <laughs> I don't think he would mind, actually, he's cool. I think you he just, would. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Ziad, we are very sorry uh, to interrupt. It's just that this is such a nerdy discussion that it's, you know... It's priceless. <laughs> go ahead. I, I don't have anything to add, other than that I assigned him uh, uh, in the last week of my class, and the students really loved how, how clearly he explained what, uh, what the Washington consensus was, what neoliberal restructuring was, and, and how seriously he took workers' mobilizations. So um, it's, you know, beyond a research uh, a product, it's a great pedagogical product, I think. Great. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. So, uh, so just as a further comparison between these two books, uh, Nader Fergani's book, Arab Revolution in the 21st Century, uh, costs costs a hundred and nine dollars. Is that right, Haley? One hundred and nine yeah. dollars in both hardback and paperback. On Amazon. On or Amazon. The the publisher website. On the publisher website, uh, and Joel Bainan's book, Workers and Thieves, costs twelve dollars. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, it's you, nothing you to choose. Say. It's nothing to say. Tell us. It's, I, I have no idea why. We were friends at the Home Shopping Network. Yeah, but. Uh, <laughs> Everyone, you are, where should I look, Khaled? There are too many cameras, okay. Uh, you are watching the nerdiest show on the internet, Books Received, we will back, we'll be, we will back. We'll back you up no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back in two minutes.